Uh, 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 uh. Hold very still, Miklaw. Uh, Crank's aim is much improved, but uh, still leaves something up to chance. Yes, sir. Uh... All right, Crank. Ready? Aim. Oh. Hmm. We have a visitor. At ease. McClaw, you may go. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I see no night song. Uh, surely you wouldn't have entered my tower without the night song in hand. Surely you wouldn't have wasted my time. Huh. Fascinating. You've been to Shah's temple, haven't you? To the Shadowfell? And the night song? Speak true now, for I detest a liar. was more than he strictly needed to know. You're not intending to surrender her over to him, are you? Would you hand her over to have her wings pulled off by this self-inflated wretch? Good. Then you'll have no trouble fulfilling the contract to bring the Night Song here. I'm... Growing tired of this repartee, my friend. Let us cut to the chase. Beautiful, isn't it? Worth more than your life, too. I bought it from a Kalashite warlock. There's very little of his soul left to him. Hmm. It can bind a celestial to the wearer's service with a snap of the fingers. And this? This can keep her in place. Forever. Hmm. We shall see, won't we? Do as I say, and you will be rewarded beyond imagination. Fail, and you give up the prize to the next motivated mercenary to encounter my contract. The choice is yours, but make no mistake, I always get what I want. Mother's milk, your visage speaks of ill tidings. Speak, ally mine. What troubles you? Is he indeed? Pray tell, what does he seek from Dame Aelin? <sighs> Magicians and their machinations. I have had enough for an eternity. I will wring his neck until he's dead. His end will be one more strand in the great braid of our friendship. I'm coming with you. I'd like to get a few licks in myself. My darling, we agreed you'd scout for the nearest Salunite Enclave this very night. Let us divide our efforts, all the sooner to be reunited. I won't let you go alone. Who knows what this wizard might have planned? Our closest ally will accompany me, won't you? It will be a swift and fruitful chore. Hie we to this Laroican right away. I am as eager to meet him as he is to ensnare me.
What have we here? A magician in a tower, hiding away from the frightening world. What are you so scared of, Magus? Not the Night Song, surely? Why, she's nothing but a relic to be purchased and pursued. At last. There you are, my dear. You will address me with due deference. I am Dame Aelin. And you are a whelp without honor, without pride, with nothing but a tower full of trinkets. My apologies, Dame Aelin. I meant no disrespect. Perhaps we could start over. I am the Rowakin. I am most pleased to make your acquaintance. And that of your fine companion, who perhaps heard I was looking for you. <sighs> Dame Aelin, I have discovered a device that would allow your immortality to be shared. It would cause you no harm, no pain of any kind. You serve your mother, Saluna, I believe. She who has blessed our realm with so many gifts. Honor her by sharing yours. You do not seek to share my gifts. You seek to poach them. You dare to threaten me with the same magic that held me in torment for a hundred years. <laughs> I had hoped to appeal to your better nature. Perhaps I overestimated you. Hmm. No bother. I have an arsenal of implements capable of convincing you to see reason. And you shall have it. This, I promise you. Traitor! I will bring this tower to the ground before I'll hear another word! This will be the last time you betray my majesty. Today I will end your life. End it for once and for all! <laughs> ah, Aelin. I look forward to getting to know you for the next eternity. Myrmidons! Imperatum! It is done! It is done! Now, I must fit her into the device before she resurrects. You, take your payment, well earned, and be gone! Whatever I wish. Forever. Forever. Whatever I wish! You've made a powerful ally today, you know. This tower's capabilities are exceptional. And your enemies are now my own. Should I wish them to be? <laughs> you can count on Ramesses' tower in future. Something tells me you won't leave Baldur's Gate without a few... fireworks. 
<laughs> Forgive me for that impudence. Perhaps our friend can bridge the gap and do what I believe they came here to do? My steel-hearted friend speaks true. Give me one good reason, Magus, why I should not strike you down where you stand. <sighs> Dame Aelin, I have discovered a device that would allow your immortality to be shared. It would cause you no harm, no pain of any kind. You serve your mother, Saluna, I believe. She who has... You dare. You do not... <laughs> I had hoped to appeal to your better nature. Perhaps I overestimated you. Hmm. No bother. I have an arsenal of implements capable of convincing you to see reason. A pity you didn't prove a more reliable ally. You could have reaped the rewards of my good favor. I'd hoped you to keep an open mind, but it seems you're determined to make this as difficult as possible. I have great plans for you, Dame Aelin. And if you will not go quietly, then you'll go kicking and screaming. <laughs> Magicians and their plans for Dame Aelin. Predictable, sadistic, flaccid. Mamadons! Imperatum! Leroican, you who would see me caged, you who would purchase my submission with profane gold. Let every wicked magus, every vile murtherer, each slaver and misery merchant see. Dame Aelin is watching. She is indomitable. And when her face lights the shadows of your wrongdoing, you are broken by its beauty! Time for a chat. The Firehead Fool is dead. Yet as I stare upon his corpse, I feel... sadness. Why? Say it can't be so. For I am Saluna's sword. And ever must be. A battle has tired my mind. Made me susceptible to flights of fancy. You were excellent in battle, as is your way. And I am proud to fight at your side. I will catch my breath, then to camp I will bring my bones. Moon Maiden be with you. <laughs>